back, Fearless Dojo here, and we are playing Mass Effect. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we just got to... Is this Pharos? Yes. We just got to Pharos, and... We have been told to scout the area. Talk to all these people, figure out what the problem is, solve said problem. Become the world hero. Hello, Offworlder. Easy. I'm glad Easy. that we are totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Um I'm not going to catch anything from you, am I? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Especially what with my help. Your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time time to absorb everything we'll be fine do you have any idea what the geth were looking for uh, i can't think of any reason for an attack like this we just wanted to build a home this guy doesn't have much to say tell me about the colony i can't tell you much about that you best ask fidan if you really must know why can't you tell me i just want to know about the colony fidan is our leader who better to answer questions about the colony it's a little I have to go. suspicious Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Well, you gave me zero information to help, so... Sure. Davin Reynolds. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. <laughs> he is our leader. Why should I speak to Fidan? Quiet. Why can't you tell me? I don't want we're to trying talk to save the galaxy right now. Speak with Fidan. What's this there, buddy? And... So long. Fidan. Like, I just spoke with Fidan. He ain't nothing special. He ain't no shepherd. That's for darn sure. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I bet I Appreciate just happened to run into some power cells. I'll hold this position in case those things try to attack again. Okay, so is there anybody else I'm supposed to talk to? Lydra? Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. Maybe he's got one of those I may licenses. Be able to provide a few interesting items. People. 
Stiletto 6. The Stiletto is a heavy sidearm from Halia Armory. It fires larger than normal rounds and is one of the more powerful and accurate basic sidearms. That sounds pretty cool. I could buy that. Let's buy that. Let's buy something. Now I'm broke. Oh, can I sell stuff to get there? Hmm. Getting rid of all the ones. Couple twos. I just need to get to whatever. Oh yeah, we're good. 436 credits. That a uh, we don't have any problem there. Pistol. This thing is so much better than what I've been using. Oh uh, goodness. Does it look cool? Can't look at it. Cool. Um 30% weapon force. Shield bypass, 20% damage versus organics. I think this is what I want for now, isn't it? What's this? Heat absorption. Max accuracy. There we go. I think we're huge now. Um, I would like to pull out my pistol, please, sir. That's as fast as I can fire it. I think we got the gun for like basically the whole game now. Worth every penny. Is there like anything hidden back here that is stupid? Uh, not stupid far out of the way, just so they can say they hit something back here. Oh, looks like I just completely wasted my time for absolutely no reason at all. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to change this armor. It's like horrible armor. Raider crane controls. Work must be completed. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. A captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He, he knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. There's nothing. I, I should get back porn. to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. I apparently need to talk to this Fi Dan guy again. Like, I feel like these guys are being a little bit funky. Did I talk to this guy? Hello again, Commander. Yes, I I'd did. have to go. So long, Commander. Uh, that's the... Mm, okay... What's the... Doctor's room... Yes. Alright. I... I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. I want to ask about the Geth just to spy her. What can you tell me about the Geth? <laughs> Do you have any idea what they might be after? Uh, I can't tell you good. anything about that. That's good. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. 
Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. Goodbye. Oh, here's zero help. Did I exhaust this guy's dialogue? Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Marcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Slightly confused. Uh, Pharaoh's power cells in order to restore power. Varian meat. Uh, kill the Alpha. Geth in the tunnels. Is that everything? Like... I don't... Unsure. I feel like I talked to everybody. Everybody's being weird. Let's just go in here and kill stuff. Screw it. All these people are fucking die anyway. Look like they suck at life. Cleared out that area. So elevator stairs down to tunnels. No idea where that goes. Elevator to Pro Prothean Skyway. Okay. Headshot. Oh, this gun does some deeps to the face. I think we're good, Shepard. I think you're. I think I agree. I'm gonna save it because we talked to like 90 million people. Is there an auto save button? Let's check that out. Uh, options. E bindings. Quick save. F5. Okay. I like that. What we got? I see dots on the radar here. Or should I say triangles? Get to cover. Got to shot the missile at me. This gun does a lot of damage, guys. Perimeter secured. Open water valve. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. No, well, I'm gonna activate them. What are we looking at here? Crazy. What was I supposed to do about that? Huh. Guess I'll save my force push for that. Gosh, damn, just crazy. Water valve. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Quick save complete. Right on.
Baron falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of the feral scavengers. Thanks for helping me out, team. You guys really stepped in and saved the day. This old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Alright. It's got some in interesting stuff here. So, Ashley, assault rifle. This one's way better than what she's using. And we got some new armor stuff. I don't know if she can use any of it. Gladiator, so that's pretty good. Um. Yeah, but what did I just get? Plus two health regeneration? Like that. I locked that a lot. Alright. Ian Newstead. You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. What in the world? You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- <laughs> Let's leave him. There's nothing we can do for him. I don't have time for this. Ashley says you want well, to leave her. Don't stay too long, or time will be all you have. That guy is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Securing point. Down where? There's nothing down there. What am I missing here? Am I missing anything? Okay. What's the button to get them to like follow me? Order rally. Attack to move. Order attack. Switch to missile. Order rally. C. Regroup. U, E, Regroup. C. Struggling. Struggling. 
after her. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I don't... Is that the end of the... What is this? We have the transmitter. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Oh, it's down here. Some serious damage those guys laid out on me. That was all that. Oop, there's a box. So there's a third water valve somewhere that I need to find. Could be anywhere. jammed. Snipers are the real scary ones. They one-shot you. Activated the system, Commander. I feel like we uh did what we came here to do. Okay, this guy's... Okay. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Two grand, that's not bad. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? 
I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. These power cells in the Who's in charge of water? This running? chick. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Is that everything? Uh, inform Fidan. Alright. Oh, this doctor guy, maybe he's... Commander, is there something I can help you with? What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? He said no, right? No, no it's just his time. Needs. Fine! Please Ooh, do what you can to stop the attacks. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. So confused. I'm gonna go down this elevator. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing on this planet. I feel like I'm missing something. Elevator Skyway. Oh, I need to go to Exogeny. Right. Killed it. I'm like a computer whiz. Sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. Sounds like they've spotted. 
spotted us. They must be close. Forget them. We need to deal with the Geth. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're not I dead. Until he's a real sweet guy. Really pounded them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Are we getting close to their base? You're almost there. They're holed up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further down the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. Come eventually. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Interesting. I am remember. intrigued. They wiped out our defenses in minutes. Refugee. I hope you can get us out of this mess. Refugee. Uh, please keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the exogenic. I like this guy a lot. Damage. Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. Exogeny Corp is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Do you have any idea where the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. <laughs> I'm going. 
I bet I find something. Be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't want any unnecessary damage to the facility. Alright. Let us go investigate. You guys are real douche. Don't mind that. Dominated. Get down there. Can't see. Heavy armor, human. Nice. Let's put some of the stuff on. Ashley gets new armor. I think. Isn't she a soldier? Why is she only able to use light armor? Is this a, uh... That would make sense. Alright, Garrus. Yours truly, Charm. Um, Alright, that's all maxed out. So now I can give Ashley the gear she deserves. Which is this stuff. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Right on. And then Garrus can get the sniper rifle he deserves. There we go. It's probably a better sniper or assault rifle he can use. Oh my. Nice. Alright. Oh, um. It's got some good stuff on already. All right. I just gotta get out of here. Figure out how to get out of here. There it is. We're stuck. On me. Loading our quick save. Good thing we literally just did it. Nice. Get going. 
got here. I guess don't need much of an invitation to move in, do they? Shots. Getting through this with the gear we have has to be another way in. All right. Easy encryption. Malfunctioning object. Upgrade, armor upgrade. Oh, oh. That was not as hard as the first one we had to kill, that's for sure. Guess we jump down here. One way drop, Commander. This looks good. Of course. Damn it! That Liz I'm so sorry. Elizabeth, yep. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. Who are you? And what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it Oh, she made it. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Uh, we have preachers. Shoot faster!
All right, we're good. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Seems to be a lot of Krogan Please working with the guests. supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. <laughs> um... There we go. destroyed me I think I know where to go I'm just in a hallway okay I'm very weak um she's tough she's like tanking these guys Easy. All right, let's try this again. Stupid machine. Access encrypted. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to complete. That guy's DPS is off the charts. And he's not getting force pushed. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to. Nothing I can do. Okay. Okay. Huh. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable. My game just closed. That guy's crazy. Oh my gosh. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Well, tell that guy that. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? I need answers. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zeus Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Oh my gosh. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. So that's why they were acting weird. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker. Damn it, that field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus Hope. B.I. 
What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Um... Okay. Well, that's an interesting bug. Um. Okay. These things jump like crazy. get Ooh, 
this close. Stop dodging. Bummer. <laughs> the test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony of the cargo bus, so we suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all far further contact with the Nodraxis colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace this back to us. Like the other one. You don't have the teeth to tear this out. Keep looking. useful. Shuttle bay door. Average decryption. Okay. Cerberus group, they may pay us well, but if this gets out before we do the antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out here. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, but the safety shut off kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal I beam. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm. Okay. Oh, bottom right. My meter. That looks good to me. Karate chop. That's the way. Doors will be open now. We can oh. go deal with that Thorian thing. I saw how high up we were. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. We're leaving, but let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. 
Alright, make sure I get everything. Hard decryption. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Hey. According to data retrieved from the console, the Geth are preparing for a major offensive in Citadel space. If this information is accurate, they're amassing a significant force somewhere in the Armstrong Nebula. Hmm. So what's this way? Finding all kinds of stuff. You want to go this way? Uh, mm. Yeah, we want to go this way. Down. that far down. Isn't this where we've never been? Yep, there's Liz Beth. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Hmm. Interesting. Get in the Mako. One button. This thing is like the hardest thing to aim in the whole game. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <laughs> Gave up the surprise. Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. 
What do you think you're doing, Jong? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I don't have these options, my stuff's maxed out. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. He's actually in his face. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. What? Right. Um. Orion Castle. Ah. Decimates everything. Oh, crap. Dorian Creeper. What the hell was that? I don't know what that plant does to people, but that's not human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it. Oh, how are we gonna Final do this?
uh, grenades. grenades a quick hit yeah Still says 16 colonists alive. Where did that raise up at? Right here. A little spooky, no big deal. Let's do a legitimate save here. Alright. Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into what the hell is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Oh my. Oh 
my oh my oh my. It's moving. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short. But have gone on too long. Your oh, blood okay. feeds the ground and it's your growth. Let's go right at this thing. I'm just gonna use this to get. You died instantly. Thanks to you, turd. I have much more points. Um, what does this do? Uh, you can use electronic skill on easy objects. Does 50 damage. It's going to raise. Makes them 20% more vulnerable to damage for 10 seconds. Sniper rifles. Commander, some sort of growth in here. More of those around. Oh, boy. I don't like this at all. There we go.
I just take so much damage. Barking at me, they might need to go out. Oh, or she's just mad. She's in her kennel. I'm gonna let him out. Give me two seconds. Station. Free Medi Gel. Little XP. Goodness. I need to like make these guys use their abilities. Back was my save at the very beginning of it. Frick.
something here. Ones that are missing, I love them. Gosh. For two. to the face. It's crazy. We're gonna die. Is it saveable here? Yeah, I don't want to go through all that again. <laughs> you guys don't want to watch me go through all that again? I'm gonna do it. Those were not shots to, you know, be afraid of. being
dude. He's just like, he goes down for like every fight. I'm missing that crazy. up. He's not green. It's not big clone. Maybe the original. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve I served Matriarch Benezia. Mm, when she allied circle. herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw okay. the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Mm. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. Interesting. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. 
Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Mm. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. <laughs> its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. Well. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. She asked to give me the eye right there? I was Ooh. merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. 
I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Huh. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. You're so welcome. It'll be tough going. You saved most of the infected. It'll... So these little side missions here, I don't think I care to do those. They don't really give you much story in the first one. Like the first one's side missions are really lame. Um, basically just fly to a random solar system and go to the planet, which all look the same and yeah, go into a lab and kill a few people and some in. Hack a computer and you get code. That's pretty much what the first one's side missions are pretty lame. Um, this one, uh, which one is this one right here? Cryptic message from Nasana. I think, could be wrong. I think this is the only DLC. I think this is the start of the only DLC for the Mass Effect one. No. Besides the ones that aren't weapon packs, or whatever. So, on the next episode, I think we are going to do this one. And then after we do this one, we will um, go to Novaria. And we will bring um, Liara with us. I'm pretty sure this is where Venezia is. I think that's where we're going. So, I thought there was another one, but it's not. Um, I think that's going to be our plan. I don't care to do these medallions or sorry ridings. Pretty sure this one, though. Yeah, they want you to go to the Citadel. So we're going to the Citadel next episode. Physical effects, but they'll be all right. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Right. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Well, thank you. Do I... We're kind of breaking even here. I actually gained a little Paragon action. Because it seems like so far... Uh, all we've done is... Talk to ladies. I wonder if these unlock and core respondents ease. You know. No idea. Um I need to do some more of these. Make her a badass with the saw rifles. And Garrus will do this, and then he can that next. All right, I think uh, I think that's it. We will uh, go back to our ship. Um, I believe it's this way. You talk. Thank you for freeing us. You are welcome. I didn't kill any of you. That's how good of the good I am. This is right. Almost a two hour episode. I wanted to do this whole place since our last episode was really short. I wanted to kind of knock out this whole zone. A little makeup episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um. Yeah, so that's the plan. Next episode, we're gonna. I'm gonna make sure that's the DLC. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Um, probably just ignore all those little side missions. There might be a few that we do that have just a little bit of plot to them, but most of them, I mean, just, they just, oh, you found a, you've hacked a computer, you found a letter, go to a random place and kill three people and, yeah. Um, we will, uh, talk to, Ferris never has health. We'll talk to all the crew member, members, party members. Uh, find out some more of their backstory. They're pretty interesting. Uh, and then next episode, we will do the DLC. And then once we finish that, we will go to Novaria. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Radio Stojo out. <laughs>